Centuries before the birth of Christ, a shepherd boy named Magnus was tending his flocks near Mount Ida in Greece. One of his lambs wandered off, as sheep sometimes do, and became stuck between some large rocks. The poor little lamb was in a bad predicament and with a frightened bleating cried out for help. Magnus, the good shepherd, hurried to the rescue. It was difficult to climb over the steep rocks to reach the lamb, but the shepherd had just bought a new pair of sandals whose soles were attached with sturdy iron nails. These new shoes would give him traction on the slippery rocks and help him to reach the struggling lamb. Carefully but swiftly, Magnus climbed and had almost reached the lamb when he stepped onto a large black rock. He could not take another step. His feet would not move. He thought he must have stepped into some tar or other sticky substance. He was as trapped as his lamb. So Magnus stepped out of his sandals and, standing barefoot on the rock, managed with difficulty to pry his sandals loose from the rock. Examining the soles, he found they were clean. There was no tar or even chewing gum that could have stuck them to the rock. Moreover, he was able to move his own bare feet freely. They were not sticking to the warm rock at all. But whenever he set his sandals down, it was hard to pick them up. The rock seemed to hold on to them in some mysterious way. With his iron-tipped shepherd's staff, he tried to pry them free, but the staff would not budge either. It dawned on Magnus then. It was the iron that the rock was pulling the iron nails in the sandals, and the iron tip of the rod. He had discovered what we now know as Magnet, named, of course, for our hero Magnus, the little shepherd boy of Greece. Christmas is where kings and shepherds converge when the greatest and the smallest, the richest and the poorest, are magically drawn to the same place, the same goal, the same child. Whether by the song of an angel or the light of a star, all are pulled irresistibly to something beyond themselves, to someone smaller yet infinitely greater than themselves. There is a mysterious, magical, magnetic force about the child of Bethlehem. And as with the soles of the little shepherd's sandals, there is something of iron in our souls too, or rather in our soul. Something that is drawn to that divine child. Something hidden and perhaps long forgotten, but possessing a power rekindled at Christmas, an incredible power that pulls us to the crib and unites us to the Holy Child. Whether great or small, whether rich or poor, whether king or shepherd, we all have that magical element in us, calling us, drawing us, holding us to that child. Let us not be afraid of its power, nor ashamed of our inability to resist the force, for that mysterious magical metal being pulled to the crib is the hidden child inside of us, the magnificent mirror image of our marvelous, magnetic God.